Uh, all right. I feel like, oh jeez, I feel like an old man. Welcome back, everyone. So right now, we're going to watch The Walking Dead Season 7 Comic-Con trailer, which I'm really, really excited to see because I'm a fan of the TV show. I've watched every single episode. Um, and... I have a different kind of perspective when it comes to this show, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate because I have not read any of the comic books, um, the graphic novels, I've just not done that. So when the show finally came, um, I just started fresh. Um, I started to get to know the characters as the season went on. I started to really care about them, really fall in love with them, and, um, and even the new cast as well. So I didn't have that, oh my god, look at Negan on the TV screen kind of moment that a lot of people had. I had a moment like, oh my God, that guy seems menacing. And I love that actor that's playing him. He's playing them very, very well. He has this kind of confident, very scary kind of mentality. And I really, really like that. Uh, intimidating. Um, and that's the way I looked at it. I look at every single character moving forward as as a, okay, this is an interesting kind of story arc. I want to see how this new character fits in with um, the old and the new cast and how, you know, how they butt heads and how um, they get out of a, a precarious situation. I want to see how that all plays out. So, you know, I'm, if there's any new shit in here, I'm probably not going to freak out about it just because, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, I haven't read any of this stuff, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who died. Who Negan hit? I have no idea with that crazy bat, really cool design. I like that. It's like the chin. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm gassy, and that's not a good combination, but let's just go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna beat the holy hell out of one of you. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Maybe. Since you're in the club now, we're going back. Where the hat. Love you, Doug. I love you. Bye. I believe. Bloom for your little girl. You don't need a bitch hurt me. You never will again. Catch. I'm a tiger. You're doing this because you want to die. No. We can find a way. I'm still with you. It's like life is flashing before our eyes. we all wind up. You win? I'm in. My mom. I've changed. Adapted. I'm a survivor. Pick the best. We fight. We do it together. I and you. As long as it's all of us. It can't be Rick. I'll be so angry if it's Rick. It. Such an iconic bat. I really, really like that. Just design. I won't let you die out there. Everything's his. Here we go. Or will be. There are rules. You earn what you take. Whatever he's done to you, there's always more. We should have made a deal with them when we could have. You should know. There is no door number four. This is the only way. They're showing a lot of stuff. What do you think? Just like the first couple episodes, or? I don't know what the hell's going on in the most wonderful way. I am King Ezekiel. Welcome to the kingdom. Ezekiel? What? Oh, the music, the music, the fucking music. October 23rd. Perfect. It's just a perfect time 
to uh, bring that Walking Dead horror element to play. Um, you know, it. I, I was not expecting them to have this much footage to show us during Comic-Con, but yet again, I mean, the premiere is on the 23rd of October. It's two months away, less than two months away. Or, no, I'm sorry, yeah, less than three months away. So, um, that's... I guess that's normal. I don't know. I don't really know how much footage they should show, but I think I think it was really, really cool what they did at the very beginning, and they kind of just showed you the main characters and the people that we've grown to really love until season six. You know, some of them obviously passed, but some of them haven't. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to cue in to see how many people there were there in that very first montage to see how, to see who was showed up, who was showing up in that new footage and who wasn't there. So we can kind of, you know, through the process of elimination, we could focus on who died, who hasn't died. Um, it seems pretty clear that they, they didn't show certain people in the new footage on purpose. Um, so through the process of elimination, we could get down to a couple but still, it's like the couple are the people that we don't want to die. So it's like, ugh. Um, God, I, but I, I got to say, if it's Rick, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. But um, but yet again, it's like I, I like TV shows to make bold decisions like that. But if you guys have read the comic books and you probably know, or maybe you don't know, I don't know how in tune this stuff is. Um, Ezekiel with the tiger, that's most likely probably a comic book thing. Um, definitely a main character, main staple of, you know, the Walking Dead series moving forward. But, um, but I don't know, man. It's like, like I said, I'm looking at that character and I'm just seeing, hopefully he plays it right. Um, the tiger is an interesting element. I want to see how they play around with that. Um, but, you know, I always like the Walking Dead series to be as grounded as it could possibly be. So seeing... A tiger in that kind of situation, I guess, is is interesting. But uh, I, I want to see how how I accept it when I finally see it on screen. I see the actor and see how they kind of plays around with that role because um, it just seems kind of weird to see a tiger, you know, near the Atlantic Ocean because they're in Georgia, right? Um, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are they near Georgia? Maybe in like I don't know, North Carolina or South Carolina or. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I'm tired. I'm done. That trailer was freaking awesome. And we still have so many questions. You know, the main, obviously the main thing, because we know that season seven is going to be fun. It's going to be a, like really, really great. But we, we need to know what the hell happens on that first episode. And that first episode will probably be the most watched Walking Dead episode of all time, in my opinion, because it seems to me like this, this series is getting even more popular as time goes on. So, um... Season 7 premiere is going to be humongous. I can't wait. We're finally going to find out who the hell he either killed or beat up really badly. But it seems to me like he definitely freaking killed him because it doesn't make sense. I mean, you can't bash somebody's head in like that um, that many times and have them still come out okay or not paralyzed or brain damage. Um, it just... It doesn't seem plausible, but let me know what you guys think. I'm going to edit this stuff and go to bed, and then, you know, it doesn't... Never mind. I'll see you guys on the... Sorry.